My aunt, the tailor. My aunt, the tailor? Yes, my aunt was a tailor. Now, a tailor is a person who makes beautiful clothes for people, makes suits for men, and beautiful gowns for ladies. <laughs> now, my aunt was the most wondrous tailor the world has ever seen. Folks came from all around to have their clothes made by her. But you know something? She started working as a tailor when she was 16 years old. And she worked till she was 76 years old. That's 60 years of working. And in all that time, not once, not once did she ever make anything for herself. So the day she retired, she closed up her tailor shop, and she gathered up all her tailoring tools. Can you make some scissors? She made scissors. She gathered up her scissors, and her needles and thread, and her tape measure. And she packed them all up, and she took them home, and she went into her kitchen, and she opened her kitchen drawer, and she put them all inside there, and she closed the drawer. Then she made herself a cup of tea, and she sat down in her rocking chair, think about what she was finally going to make for herself. And she rocked and she remembered. And she rocked and she remembered. And she rocked and she remembered. All the things she had made for all those people over all those years. And then she finished her cup of tea and she got an idea. And she went to bed early that night and she got up early the next morning. And the first thing she did and she got up and she went down to the fabric store. Now the fabric store was this marvelous place. You walked in the front door and there were shelves that started right on the floor and they went all the way up to this high, high ceiling, <gasps> twice as high as this ceiling. And to get to the shelves at the top, you had to climb up these ladders that were on wheels that rolled up and down. Well, the first thing she did is she pulled out a bolt of cloth to see if this was the cloth she was going to use. And she had a little test, and she rubbed the back of her hand on it. And then she rubbed it against her cheek. And then she went up to the front window where the sunlight came in, and she held it up to the sunlight. And that wasn't the piece of cloth for her. So back went that bolt of cloth. Well, she spent all morning in the store, going up and down that ladder, pulling out every bolt of cloth and every shelf along that side of the store. And at lunchtime, she was just starting across the back of the store. And she went and she had some soup and bread. And she came back after lunch and she spent all afternoon in the store, looking at every piece of cloth. And late that afternoon, about halfway up the other wall, she pulled out this bolt of cloth. And it was so red, deep, deep red. Some folks called it blood red. And she rubbed the back of her hand on it, and she got a little smile on her face. And then she rubbed it on her cheek, and her smile got bigger. And she took it up to the late afternoon sunlight, and she held it up there by the window, and her face lit right up. And that was the piece of cloth for her. So she took it to the shopkeeper, and he measured out one, two, three meters of that red cloth. And he folded it up nice and neat for her. And he wrapped it in brown paper and tied a string around it. And she tucked it under her arm and took it home. And she got home and she went into the kitchen and she unwrapped that cloth and laid it out on the kitchen table. And do you remember that tailoring tool? She went over to the drawer and she opened the drawer and she pulled out her scissors and her needles and thread and her tape measure. And this is where I need your help with the story. Can you make those scissors again? the needle and thread. We're going to do this three times. So she cut and she sewed and she cut and she sewed and she cut and she sewed till she made herself a beautiful long red coat. Oh how she loved that red coat. She wore that red coat everywhere. She wore it to church, she wore it to meetings, she wore it visiting, she wore it shopping. She wore that red coat until she wore that red coat out. And one day she was coming home from church and she took off the coat and she hung it up on the hook in the back of the door. And as she did so, she looked back at it. She noticed that, that poor old coat, the bottom of it, because it was so long, was tattered and torn from dragging on the ground. Oh, so she took it off the hook and she looked at it again, a little closer. And she saw that there was still something there. So she took it into the kitchen and she laid it out on her kitchen table. 
And she opened that drawer again, and she got those scissors. And do you know what she did? She cut and she sewed, and she cut and she sewed, and she cut and she sewed, till she turned that long red coat into a beautiful short red waistcoat. Oh, how she loved that coat. She wore that coat everywhere. She wore it to church, she wore it visiting, she wore it shopping. She wore that red coat until she wore that red coat out. Mm -hmm. And one day she was coming home from shopping and she took it off and she hung it up on the hook in the back of the door. And as she did so, she looked back at it and she saw that that poor old coat had great big holes in the elbows and the cuffs were tattered and torn. So she took it off the hook to have a closer look at it. And she saw that there was still something there. So she laid it out on the kitchen table. She went over to her drawer and she pulled out her tailoring tools. Do you know what she did? She cut and she sewed. And she cut and she sewed. And she cut and she sewed. Until she, she, she made herself a beautiful red vest. Oh, how she loved that red vest. She wore that red vest everywhere. She wore it to church. She wore it to meetings. She wore it visiting. She wore it shopping. She wore that red vest until... She wore that red vest out. And one day she was coming home from a meeting and she took it off and she hung it up on the hook in the back of the door like she always did. And she looked back at it and she saw that it was all ripped out under here and it was all tattered here at the bottom. So she took it off the hook and had a closer look at it. Wait, wait, it's a long story. It is, but wait till the end. You're going to love it. And she looked at it and she saw that there was still something there. So she laid it out on the kitchen table and she went over to the drawer and she pulled out her tailoring tools. Do you know what she did? She cut and she sewed and she cut and she sewed and she cut and she sewed until she, she, she made herself a beautiful red tie. Oh, how she loved that red tie. She wore that red tie everywhere. She wore it to church, she wore it to meetings, she wore it visiting, she wore it shopping. She wore that red tie until she wore that red tie out. And one day she was coming home from visiting and she took off her red tie and she hung it up on the hook in the back of the door and as she did so, she looked back at it and she saw that poor old tie, it was all tattered here and where it was knotted in the same place all the time that had holes and tears and there was a great big stain right there because whenever she had soup, she had a bad habit of using it as a napkin. But she took it off the hook she had a closer look at it. And she saw that there was still something there. So she went into the kitchen and she laid it up on the kitchen table and she opened that drawer. Do you know what she did? She, she cut and she sewed and she cut and she sewed and she cut and she sewed until she, she made herself a beautiful red button. Oh, how she loved that red button. She wore that red button everywhere. She wore it to church, she wore it to meetings, she wore it visiting, she wore it shopping. She wore that red button until she wore that red button out. She wore it like a brooch. And one day she was coming home from a meeting and she took it off and she didn't hang it on the hook on the back of the door. That'd be silly. She was going to put it back in her jewelry box and as she did so she looked at it and that poor old button it hardly had an edge to it anymore and the center was almost gone. So she had a closer look at it. And she no. saw that there was still something there. And you know what it was? The story I just told you. 